Adler. A pause of 40 years. When he founded the Adler Motorcycle Factory in 1886, Heinrich Clear laid the foundations of one of Europe's largest office machine manufacturers. The first motorised two-wheelers, fitted with a D-Dion engine, left the Frankfurt factory in 1901. In 1903, the company started producing its own motorcycle engines, but in 1907, the management decided to concentrate on the production of cars and bicycles. For 40 years, the company stopped making motorbikes, and it was only in 1949 that it resumed its production once more. The first post-war model, with a small 98cc single-cylinder two-stroke engine, was just right for the time. When the demand for the motorbikes with high performance emerged in the 1950s, Adler launched a two-cylinder model with capacities of 200 and 250cc. The modern technology of these motorbikes boosted sales and in 1955 Adler produced 90,000 bikes. But in spite of their excellent performance, Adler's motorbike production ceased in 1957 because of the slump in sales. Adler was then taken over by Grundig. Because of its original pioneering construction, the two-cylinder bike proved to be a model design widely copied by foreign manufacturers. Adler V2 In the pioneering days of Adler, motorbike production continued for only six years. This motorcycle combination powered by a twin cylinder engine dates from this time. The power of the slide valve engine without gears was delivered to the rear wheel directly by a belt. With its well sprung sidecar with a leather seat attached, the Adler was a striking vehicle. Adler 3.5 PS, the first motorbikes produced by the Adler company, which until then had made bicycles and cars, were initially fitted with the French D. Dion engine. The single cylinder model developed the power of 3.5 brake horsepower, which was transferred to the rear wheel by a direct belt drive. Minimal braking was provided by a simple band brake on the front wheel. From 1903 the company began manufacturing its own engine. Adler M200 In autumn 1951, the Adler factory in Frankfurt launched its new twin-cylinder two-stroke motorbike. As well as its competitive performance, the twin-cylinder engine was remarkable for its outstanding smooth performance. However, the chassis was direct suspension for the rear wheel and short suspension travel with friction dampening for the front wheel could not keep up with the performance of modern engines. Adler M250 Enlarging the capacity of the M200 by boring out the cylinders seemed to be a logical step. So in 1953, Adler launched a high-performance 250 with a remarkable maximum speed of 116 km per hour, or 72 miles per hour, compared to the 95 km per hour, 59 miles per hour, of its smaller sibling. Adler 250 GS Although Adler was taken over by Grundig in 1957 and motorbike production was discontinued, Dieter Folk won the German championship on an Adler in the following year. Then in the 1970s, the racing mechanic Willy Klee continued to build racing bikes for enthusiasts which were recognised as providing serious competition to the Yamahas. Adler MB200 Only with the MB models did the Adler chassis equal the standard of the famous engine. Like its predecessors, the MB twins had delicate 16-inch wheels. With the 200cc engine, there were two different variations in the Adler model range. The MB201 with a single-cylinder two-stroke engine and the MB200 with a twin two-stroke engine. Adler MB250 In contrast to the 250 of 1954, the MB250 was presented with a new chassis. 
Its slide valve two cylinder two stroke engine was capable of remarkable performance and made the machine one of the sportiest in its class. Its lively tractive power, remarkable lack of vibration and exceptional engine note attracted the progressive rider at the expense of the production of the 250. For more videos like this, please like, subscribe and share.